Well, we have a great follow-up for you now on this year's annual Day of Hope. The grand total is more than $316,000 that came in. Tonight, News Channel 12's Patricia Martellotti introduces us to some of the people who will be helped by that money. Carissa Sanchez is grateful to be alive today. I am a cancer survivor. I was actually this year's Day of Hope ambassador, and it really has meant a lot to me to just be able to represent um, for the Cancer Center here. But if it weren't for the Day of Hope, the breast cancer survivor isn't sure where she'd be. Not only was her experience often isolating. Oh, it's difficult, especially during COVID and with all of the restrictions that we've had. Um, I had to do all of my treatments by myself. Being treated for cancer isn't cheap. Oh, it can get crazy expensive, especially um, if you go into you know, harvesting any eggs since you are so young, the whole process is extremely expensive. Mission Hope leaders say they're grateful for the outpouring of donations this year, which will help cancer patients in need. On March 13th of 2019, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and we had a pink radio campaign. It was the original one that happened two years ago. While battling cancer, Tareen Timothy felt overwhelmed with community support. It means the world to me knowing that this tight knit community that that I live in is willing to go out and just hustle. And thanks to people all over the community, this year's Day of Hope raised a total of more than $300,000. My hope is that nobody lets cancer define who they are. My hope is to live a long, healthy life. In Santa Maria, Patricia Martellotti, News Channel 12.